family as well and having a great week. All right then, so come across this trailer. Looks quite good, starring Henry Cavill. The film is called The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Yeah, have no idea what this is about, going into this completely cold. That's why I thought I'd check this out with you guys. So let's see what this trailer is saying. Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Gus March Phillips, I have a mission I want you to lead. A Guy Ritchie film. Yes, I'm on this. I'm on this. Gus March Phillips, I have a mission I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What is the plan? To neutralize the German U boats in the North Atlantic. <laughs> when there's a war, Hitler is not playing by the rules, then neither are we. Okay. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. The reason they find you unattractive is the very reason I find you attractive. If I'm to do this, I'll need my own team. You won't like them. Bad. <laughs> They'll need to be. <laughs> this is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> 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 oh my days. Henry's a madman in this. What kind of gun is that? Hold on, operation. Yo, that is a serious gun, man. Your operation are reckless. Abort this mission now. Hello, can't hear you. Please do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Yes, bro. Big up Guy Ritchie, yeah. As soon as I see Guy Ritchie pop up on the screen, I was like, Yes, this, this is gonna be a banger. This is gonna be, a, Guy Ritchie, for us people in England, is like, he's like our version of Quentin Tarantino, but without any likeness between the two. The only thing that is similar between Tarantino and Ritchie is their amazing, amazing, amazing and very independent filmmakers. You know, they have a vision, they have a drive, they have a dream, and they work on it and see it all the way through to the end. Not every one of his films is a hit. One or two has been a miss over, over the years, but that's what makes the hits even more, hit even more harder, you know? Um, you have the likes of Lot Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, and probably the greatest film that he ever made was Snatch. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a Guy Ritchie fan, uh, just as much as a ta uh, Tarantino fan as well. We'll wait for his 10th uh, film to drop very soon, hopefully. I think it is in pre-production pre now, I believe. Um, I think it's his final one as well, I believe. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I'm looking forward to this one. It's a mad combination. There's some wicked actors in this. Guy Ritchie always, he always draws the best of the pack for his films, you know. And he always draws for uh, uh, actors you wouldn't expect to be in a, a, a British, British-made film. But, um, yeah. Yeah, this is amazing. Henry Cavill, you know. All right, let's watch this again. You know how we do. Gonna go for a round two. To see if there's anything that I missed. Gus March Phillips. I have a mission. I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What's the 
plan to neutralize the German U-boats in the North Atlantic. We're losing the war. Hitler is not playing by the rules, so neither are we. That's right. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. The reason they find you unattractive is the very reason I find you attractive. <laughs> I'll need my own team. You won't like them. They're all mad. <laughs> Don't need to be. This is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. Can someone please let me know what that is that Henry shooting there? Please, someone let me know. It looks like an, an early submachine gun, but the only handheld submachine guns that I remember from back, back, back well, like I remember from back then, like I was alive back then, that I remember from that was in use was the um, was it called a Sten Sten machine gun? Yeah. Yeah, Sten machine gun. That's what I thought was the submachine gun of uh, mid to late World War Two. The Sten machine gun. I know the Americans they had the Thompson, um, and the Brits they had the Sten. But the mag the magazine coming out uh, coming out the side. Um, <clears throat> I don't see the magazine coming out the side of this. Don't look like a Sten machine gun to me. Someone please let me know. I'm very interested in that. Looks lovely. England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. And so I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> it is a Sten machine gun. It is a Sten machine gun. You see the clip coming out the side. Coming soon. Yeah. All right then. All right. I'm fully sold on this. I'm f this. Um, this is the most for me now. This is one of the most anticipated films of the year, besides um, Deadpool three. So yeah, definitely looking forward to this one. As I said in one of my previous videos, Henry Cavill will always be uh, uh, the modern era version of the Man of Steel, and uh, the way he got dropped by. Uh, James Gunn was ridiculous, but I've, I've just, in fact, I've just seen something pop up regarding Henry Cavill. Uh, in fact, I'll check it out on my next video. Something about him possibly being signed by the MCU to play Captain Britain. That would be an amazing thing. So uh, yeah, we'll go on to check that out. All right then, I'm gonna leave that there. What do you think of this? You looking forward to this one? Um, if you like this reaction, you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. With that being said. I'm going to wish you a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.